All right, in this video, we'll continue on with uh, our last one, which is how to use UTM and measure the distance between two waypoints uh, using a GPS or by using pad and paper. So this part two is just a continuation. Once we establish the distance between two waypoints, we need to determine the bearing. So in order to do that with paper, what we're gonna do here is take out our topo map of uh, Halifax, Nova Scotia, and we're gonna get the coordinates of the Halifax Citadel, which is located right here. And we want to know the bearing, the direction of travel from the Citadel to Ives Point, which used to be a uh, military uh, fort used during the Second World War, First and Second World War, to protect the, uh, the basin from uh, Nazi subs and all that. So what we'll do here is simply take our little piece of paper and from our last video, all we had to do here is we had our waypoint over here, we had our waypoint over here, and all we needed to do was to figure out the simple triangle puzzle or triangle problem in school to figure out the distance between two points. So now we're going to use this triangle again and figure out the angle or the direction of travel. So let's get started. So in order to get started, we do what we did in part one. We take our easting and the northing and we subtract the numbers to get the positive. So we have resulting numbers here. So again, regarding from our first step, so we're trying to figure this math problem out. But in order to determine the angle of travel or our bearing from point one to point two, we need to do uh, a little different math. So we need to take the difference here, divide it by the second uh, number here. So we get 1.06 and we do the arc tangent. Yep, that math function that we don't use since grade eight. We use that, it gives us 46.78. In other words, 47 degrees. Now, since our direction of travel is really, if you look down our map, it's kind of down in this quadrant here. We kind of have to take 180 and subtract 47 from our 180. Okay. So which what we've done here. So we end up with 133 degrees. So let's verify this on the map. So what we'll do here is grab our compass right here and I'll just use a piece of paper here. So again we, we were on Halifax Citadel and we're going to Ives Point here. I'm just going to use the paper to align myself here and once that's done I'm just going to use the compass and and adjust the grid lines like so like that and we end up with 130 almost 131 degrees so if I had a better scaled map probably get something a little bit closer and if you want to double check on your GPS to see if the bearing straight you can you can probably use this since we have the UTM uh, coordinates Right here, we can enter that onto our GPS, and that's what I did here. P1, and there's P2 down here. So what I can do here is just simply put uh, my arrow on top of it, and we can take a look at the display here. Probably see that it says 133 degrees. So if you have any uh, other comments or feedback on this particular tutorial, please put them in the comments. Make sure I didn't forget a step. But uh, this is how you uh, determine the bearing by using UTM and pad and paper.